Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo and three of her former indicted staffers are back in the spotlight for a new investigation into her office now. The Texas Rangers are looking into the possibility that those same three staffers tampered with evidence amid an investigation related to a multi-million dollar COVID vaccine contract. KPRC 2 CJ Parker is live outside of Hidalgo's office with a breakdown of these new allegations. TJ, good morning. Hey, good morning. And yeah, while the Texas Rangers were investigating those three high level staffers, a grand jury issued a subpoena in the case. And according to this newly revealed search warrant, the Rangers believe Hidalgo's office concealed evidence. This morning, new revelations in just unsealed court documents alleging Harris County Judge Lena Hidalgo and her three former now indicted staffers hid documents and communications that should have been turned over to a grand jury. The Texas Rangers started investigating in 2021 and after questions of fairness in awarding a nearly $11 million COVID vaccine contract to Elevate Strategies, a company that scored worse and cost more than others, including UT Health, that contract ultimately got revoked. Given the four corners of the affidavit and the warrant, it would appear to be a reasonable deduction that Judge Hidalgo's DNA is now in play in this investigation. Documents claim Hidalgo's office used personal phones to talk about the contract, but deleted messages and didn't turn other records over during grand jury proceedings that led to the indictments last year. Investigators also say draft documents obtained during that investigation show the county judge herself edited the scope of the project to include mentions of the company that got selected two weeks before publicly announcing it. This is essentially the sequel to the original investigation that culminated in indictments of three members of Judge Hidalgo's staff. In a previous statement, Hidalgo says, quote, news reports have already shown that recent accusations suffer from a serious lack of understanding of the facts. My team will remain on my staff and continue to make meaningful, positive changes on behalf of the people of Harris County. It is no coincidence that these unfair allegations are being leveled against them in the middle of an election year. So as we were going through those documents this morning on page 15, we found text messages from one of Hidalgo's staffers to the owner of Elevate Strategies advising her not to talk to the media and specifically mentioned KPRC in that. We emailed her office at 7 o'clock last night asking if she's available for an interview. She is expected to tape uh, with KPRC2 newsmakers this morning to discuss suppression. As you know, she recently just returned from a leave of absence. We'll let you know if she has anything to say about this search warrant. We're live downtown this morning. I'm TJ Parker, KPRC 2 News. All right.